Ah, so UAE is in the news again, which is good. It's kind of missing. Uh, no new updates, no new stuff. So finally, Sheikh Mohammed finally gives another announcement, which is good because whenever he makes an announcement, you get lots of newspapers writing about it, people talking about it. Some future promise, some new project, some new visa, something new. Okay. So I'll read out the article. This one is from where? The national, nationalnews.com. Okay, what it says, UAE to issue residency visa for remote work. Okay, which is good. After all, you have places like Bali, places like Vietnam, Thailand, all these uh, Eastern countries that welcome uh, people and you can work remotely. And um, where the point of attraction for these countries is it's very cheap and affordable. UAE is not at all cheap, it is not at all so uh, affordable, but it is, it gives you lug luxury that is affordable. Like there's no luxury tax. Um, technically speaking, there is no tax at all. So for all those influencers, internet marketers who love to show off, Dubai can be a good place. And another reason why this is a good idea is because a lot of whites who don't like the cold climate, like Russians, Americans, uh, Europeans, they don't like the cold climate. They want the sun, you know, lying on the beach. I don't know how people even fucking do that. For hours and hours, they're just lying on the beach. How do you fucking waste time doing all that shit? Wasting time lying on the beach. Okay. I guess that's a very Western thing to do. Lie on the beach. Hope to get a free tan. Okay. I know you'll say that I'm doing the same. No, I'm exercising because I stay the whole day uh, in my room. So sitting on a chair in front of the iMac for 18 hours a day, I need to do some exercise. So that's why I'm walking. And vitamin D is important for me because I'm just in the room. Um, so you'll say, yeah, they also need vitamin D. Fine. Uh, so they lie on the beach doing nothing. Okay. And uh, that can be another. Beaches, some of people have fascination for beaches, sand, the sea. I guess some people never seen the beach and all that. So, fine, they like all this stuff. So this is a kind of paradise for our Western expats. And uh, given the fact that UAE is giving visa on arrival for Western passport holders, uh, it's a good thing. Or uh, if you are rich, if you're from the East, you have to be rich. Okay, especially India, Pakistan. They don't want all these people coming in without money. So let's see what they say. UAE to issue residency visa for remote work. Good. Cabinet decision allows people to live and work remotely from UAE even if the employer is based in another country. Okay, so let me understand this. I am a owner, business owner. I am based in Africa. I can open up a company in UAE and I have employees working there. Okay. So now, is this a good thing or bad thing? For workers, for employees, this is a fantastic thing. It'll bring up new opportunities to work. It'll help uh, create more jobs. It'll help run the economy. It'll bring in cash flow. It'll create new business opportunities. So everything is good. <laughs> However, what is the downside? Everything has to have a upside and downside, right? The downside is the biggest problem of them all. That is, a lot of illegal activities will be taking place. Let's say, for example, the guy is doing illegal stuff. He is buying things and uh, purchasing stuff on credit and uh, this has happened so many times. They purchased a lot of these materials, container worth of rice, they have ordered uh, steel, they have ordered copper, they have ordered so many raw materials. They have ordered it. The employees worked hard to sign off these deals. Uh, then they bought it in the warehouse. Middle of the night, they sold it all off. They shut down the office. Now where do you locate the owner? You can't locate the owner. 
and who's left behind the employees no salaries are given they don't know what to do even if you put them in jail they'll be like oh we were just employees this will be one of the biggest problems and i can assure you this there'll be plenty of fraudsters scammers tons i mean not millions billions of people with black money okay now don't start jump and say hey loy what the fuck you mean racist uh, why are you using black money just shut the fuck up and listen money that is not accounted for okay let's call it that black money and that's what the fucking term is you can name it whatever the fuck you like pink money or purple money or lgbtq money or whatever so anyway so this unaccounted for income which anyway lots of people want to make it legal that's why they invest into cryptos and uh, all this digital art and digital nonsense and yeah because end of the day you want to show right legal money so you don't have any questions why do you think so many actors actresses celebrities and purchase properties and all that especially where countries they ask them they don't ask them show me proof of income and so that's how the middle east countries they run okay so now even though it's a good thing that this money is coming in the bad side to it is when they have to shut down these companies it's they will be casualties and the casualties will be sellers who have sold their products to these people and yes the what do you call that the uh, employees who are working there and this in turn will affect the impact the reputation of ue so short term it's a very good idea short term it's a great idea long term it's going to be a fuckhole because people eventually take advantage of the system so ue announced the introduction of residency permits for remote workers so the problem is ue has been announcing so many visas five year visa 10 year visa gold visa silver visa lifetime visa diamond visa creative visa i mean now it's becoming a joke for every category there is a visa basically they're just trying to it looks like they're trying to throw some shit on the wall and see what sticks so this is another visa you remember when they came out with the five year visa everyone's talking about it ronaldo got a visa then talented visa where they'll give people with talent then they're looking for scientists and phd's then they were looking for uh, i don't know entrepreneurs investor visa how many visas are so fucking there man it's so confusing so now you have this new visa okay let's hope something will stick see but i'll i'll tell you this where the problem is the people who come to uae are coming there to earn money they want to earn money so they can send it back home and many of them are coming for easy money easy life because in their home country they'll get a job maybe paying 1000 they are hoping to come to uae to earn 5000 6000 you know i even met idiots online who are earning 1 to 2000 dollars in india but when they want to come to uae they're saying i want to earn 10000 20000 i'm like are you fucking crazy you want to earn what 1000% more yeah why not loy everyone else is earning everyone else is, that's a different story you are not everyone else but then again you have idiots world filled with idiots right okay next one uh sheikh mohammed bin rashid prime minister and ruler of dubai announced in the introduction ruler like a scale which anyway it is because if you actually look at it he is the yardstick by which they measure dubai and something happens to him dubai is anyway finished okay uh the residency permit that any employee anywhere in the world can reside in ue to practice work remotely even if the company is not present in the country not a good idea i told you again but yes good for the economy in the short term the decision comes as people increasingly work from home because of covid-19 pandemic uh yes that has been happening everywhere another problem with uae is they are talking about testing and all that by the way it's just so that you know um until you board the aircraft it seems they are being very tough on pcr test oh we need to know this that a prc or pcr yeah uh but once after you land in dubai nobody gives a fuck it looks like and uh, i'll tell you this covid uh, uh, some people when they get sick it's really bad huh? sheikh mohammed wrote in a tweet that the message of ue is clear 
What is the message? Development is continuous, change will not stop. Our teams continue day and night to consolidate our international and economic, political, blah, 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 blah. We are the best residing here. Okay, whatever. Uh, a lot of feel good stuff and all that. I didn't want to bore you with that. He explained that remote work technologies today, we provide an opportunity for everyone to live in the most beautiful and safe cities in the world. Yeah, they never made Skype for free. They never allowed you to have voice over, uh, you know, voice over IP. Uh, sorry, uh, Facebook Messenger, video and all that. They never allowed all that because they wanted it to be a monopoly for Iti Salad and do. And they are talking about embracing technology. You are embracing only because <laughs> now you are in trouble. And see, the biggest thing, why they are doing this remote work, they are not doing it because they are in love with you. They are not doing it for the benefit of mankind. They are doing it because treasury is empty. They need to bring in money. Dubai, UAE is currently losing the highest number of people who are going back to their country because it's so fucking expensive. It's not sustainable to stay there if you don't have a job and you're not able to make money. The cabinet approved several economic measures in addition to approving the UAE, joining the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development of a new development bank established by the BRIC nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Uh, I wouldn't take this seriously because UAE has infamously been slammed with the money laundering. So until that gets sorted out, nothing happens. And this many economic changes. I can also say I have many plans. How many specific? Two, three, four, five, six. And what are they specifically? Nobody knows. So they always come out with these words, many and... Furthermore, the UAE government announced that it would adopt multi-entry tourist visas for all nationality easing travel, travel to the country. Yeah, the day they do it for India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, fine, then it will be considered all nationalities. Uh, but then again, uh, the question is, uh, how long can they sustain that? Because UAE only wants to call in the Goras. Uh, Arab countries always have this fascination for white skin and Western passports. And uh, for them, Indians and all that is Kachara. But later on, they came to know how rich Asians are when all the properties were being scooped up by Indians. So India, 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 who they were making fun, now they hold you by the balls. <laughs> Sheikh Mohammed said the UAE is a economic, global economic capital. <gasps> okay, and all our decisions will be based on this vision. I have a vision, I am going to be the sexiest man in this world, I'll star in Hollywood. I have a vision, I'm going to earn trillions of dollars. I have so many visions. Based on my vision, I'm telling you all this. Anyone can have a vision, Baba, anyone can have a vision. Which vision have you achieved? Expo, 20, 20, 25 million visitors, billions of dollars of investment. Palm Island, one, two, three, vision. Then Al Maktoum Airport, 200 million passengers. Logistic city, vision. UAE will earn more than USA, China and India combined. What happened to all that vision? Lots of vision. Too many visions. Now the vision has to be corrected by wearing glasses. Last October, Dubai announced a remote working program that allows professionals to live in the Emirate while being employed by companies overseas. See, look, I understand what Sheikh Mohammed is doing. I understand what Dubai is doing. I understand what UAE is doing. They need money. They need people to come in. Any country in this world needs money, needs revenue, without which they cannot sustain and survive. Like for example, right now in Samui, this place is decimated. There's no tourists here. So many businesses have shut down, 80%. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Okay, so I can understand that they need tourism, they need, need people. But the problem is you keep changing your rules, keep changing your laws, keep introducing this visa, that visa, this uh, new policy, that new policy. It's so fucking confusing. In fact, let me ask you, remember the gold visa, the lifetime visa, the investing visa, the creative visa. Now, which visa are you going to fucking take? In fact, remember there was a new visa or new business license for what, $100 or $150? What happened to that? You come out with so many announcements and so many visas and so many things. You're just confusing people, man. And I'll tell you, I've spoken to so many people. They themselves are fucking confused. I spoke to Emiratis, they don't know what the fuck is happening. So, end of the day, 
Yes, I appreciate and I admire. At least he's doing something. But come out with some standard, uh, sustainable, you know, policy. Don't keep fucking changing. You keep changing uh, like the wind. Tomorrow you'll make money, you'll say, fuck all these visas, only rich people come in. Then when rich people stop coming, okay, we welcome, come open arms, come all the people who are middle class. When they don't come, okay, come, come, all nationalities come, we welcome you with open arms. Your friendship is more like uh, one of these, you know, prostitutes in a bar who will only target rich guys. If she gets no one, she'll just target the guy who is there. And if she doesn't get anyone, she'll just open her legs for anybody and say, okay, come, fuck me for the night, at least I get some money. That's what it is, right? So anyway, this is my analysis. You can let me know if I'm right or wrong. I'm open to your suggestions. This is what I think. So, do I feel it's sustainable? Short term, yes. Long term, no. Do I feel it'll stick? Eh, not actually, no. The, it'll benefit plenty of uh, scammers, fraudsters, businessmen, and people who have black money. Will it uh, benefit uh, employees as well? It's not that all bad people are going to come. There will be some people uh, who will be good and legit. Uh, it will help people in terms of jobs. It will run the economy. It will regulate. It will bring in some cash flow. So short term it is good. It's better than nothing at least. But uh, once again, I wouldn't be surprised if after another few more days or weeks, some new visa comes out, some new regulation comes out. And once again, by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if Expo 2020 visas come out. <laughs> There'll be Expo 2020 visa, special visitor visa, visit Dubai 2020, 2021 visa, something like that. I think it's a matter of time before that comes out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. You guys take care. All right. Yalla. Habibi. Allah Khali. Bye bye.